by to you both. How is it all going? What's it been like to join up with the team Nicola? Uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, um, as you mentioned, sort of thrown into the captaincy, <laughs> um, which was a bit unexpected. But yeah, it's been good. We had our first training session yesterday and um, yeah, we've got our second one today. So looking forward to it. Sorry. Yeah, um, Heather, we saw you all training yesterday. What's the energy like in the Barmy Army team? There seems to be a lot of noise coming from the, the camp Barmy Army. Yeah, the mood's really good. I think everyone's just really pumped and excited to be here. It's been a, a long time coming and uh, getting everyone over and, and getting everyone together and just getting to know your teams is quite interesting, really. We've got such a mix of people, obviously a mix of cultures, uh, a few different languages in there as well. So just learning about um, the different people in my team and getting to know what cricket is like in their country and uh, learning a bit about them and, and what they do a little bit as well with, with uh, in the cricket regard. So, um, yeah, it's been good and excited for our second session this afternoon. Yeah, are you picking up any tips from <laughs> players yet? Yeah, I think that's what the tournament's all about. It's about learning off each other. It's such a, a unique mix of players, such a unique tournament. There's nothing like it in men's or women's cricket. So to throw everyone together, I think one of the main goals of the competition is just to learn and, and learn what it's like for different people and different cultures and uh, for us to learn off uh, other players and, and for them to learn off us, I guess. So, um, yeah, looking forward to learning a few things. Uh, so, Nicola, yeah, fresh fresh news that you're going to be captain your side. What's your kind of captaincy going to be like? Are you going to be a bit of like, everyone's going to do this, or is it input from all over the side? Uh, I'm definitely going to go the input from as many people as possible approach. I haven't um, I haven't done a lot of captaincy, um, as the girls have sort of been um, <laughs> mentioning a fair bit to me. I'm very aware of that. So, yeah, I think it's going to be um, really good experiences. Obviously, as Heather mentioned, a lot of girls from, from different countries, which is really cool um, to to see, you know, what their experience is like. So, yeah, I'm happy to take as much input from as many people and hopefully Bisma gets here in the next few hours and um, yeah, I'll certainly be leaning on her for a fair bit of advice. Yeah, and I guess the whole tournament is about opportunities for everyone. So for you as well, that is something new. Yeah, it's certainly very new. Um, yeah, it'd be a really exciting opportunity. Like, I don't have a lot of experience in it, but um, yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to lean on a few different people, um, learn a few things um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, and so Heather, what's it been like being able to mingle with everyone around the hotel the last few days, just seeing everyone from all over the world and learning about where they've come from and what their cricketing background's been like? Yeah, it's been fun. It's been uh, very social. I think everyone's um, been getting around, getting to know each other, uh, getting to know the, the players from um, non-member associate nations. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun and, and just chatting to people about their different experiences. Uh, I was chatting to Roberta and Laura this morning at breakfast about uh, what cricket's like in Brazil and, and Roberta's experiences in England and, and how cricket started. And yeah, it's just it's really cool and really interesting to, to get to know them and get to know their stories. Yeah, and Roberta's obviously mentioned that she's looking for captaincy tips to take back from you. So you've been having a little chat about what kind of things she can incorporate in Brazil when she goes back. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I was chatting to Ruby this morning as well from Nepal about captaincy and um, what it's like for her, so it's, it's really interesting and I, I think I can definitely learn off those guys as well, what they do in, in their setups and, and how they deal with different challenges that, that we don't have. I think it's made me certainly appreciate some of the things that we take for granted as, as cricketers in England, some of the stuff that we get given that, that other girls in different nations don't. Yeah, and Nicola, obviously February is such a groundbreaking moment for women's cricket across the world. What kind of <coughs> message do you want that to bring across to everyone that they can get involved in cricket too? Yeah, it's obviously a, a really incredible thing that's sort of come together. Um, getting all these people together from different countries and you're playing against people that, you you know, we don't get to play against them um, usually. So, yeah, obviously it's a really big um, learning curve for everyone and learning about people's experiences in their home countries. And I think that's what it's all about, just sort of, yeah, that whole education piece and um, people are going to, you know, I mean, I might, I might need to catch up with Heather to get some uh, captaincy advice. So it's, it's even good for players like us to get here. And I think that's the thing, like we just want to, learn as much as possible and share as much of our experiences as possible. And um, yeah, it's an incredible tournament that's come together and I'm very much looking forward to it getting started. Um, we've got a question here from Charlotte Harrison, AIS three. Uh, Yeah, I think it's going to be really important. I think it's such a unique tournament and I think one of the goals of the Fair Break Tournament is to grow the game globally and I think you only do that by bringing up um, associate nations that don't usually get the opportunities that, that some of the, the top nations do. And I think um, there is discrepancies in, in certain things 
uh, in the women's game and, and sometimes the, the funding, for example, sometimes relies on the, the men's game, which uh, I think needs to change. So um, I think this one is all about trying to, trying to help those associate nations, trying to grow the game globally and trying to have new eyes that are, are drawn to take an interest in the game. Yeah, really important. I think some of the girls we trained at the stadium here yesterday had a field on the outfield and some of them have never played in, in these sorts of stadiums. So just having the experience of doing that, um, seeing how different players deal with it, seeing how Nick deals with it, um, for example. <laughs> Why is that funny? I was being serious. Not very well at the <laughs> and, and just having those little experiences like that are, are just quite unique. And um, these franchise tournaments are, are a lot of fun and, and they bring people together and, and you, you feel like you, you get to know people around the world, which is, is quite a nice thing as well. Yeah, potentially. I think different things are popping up all the time, um, which is a great time to be involved as a women's cricketer. Obviously, international cricket for me is, is certainly the pinnacle, but getting the opportunity to play in different tournaments like this is, is quite fun. It's quite exciting, um, and it, it definitely helps to develop players as cricketer. I love playing the, in the Big Bash. That's really helped me develop as a player in uh, the early years of my career. So I think certainly it's a, a breeding ground for, for players to improve and, and I think it attracts different different people as well like the Barmy Army sponsoring us is, is awesome and, and they haven't really been involved in women's cricket too much re um, previously so yeah exciting that um, different people are getting involved. Yeah so we'll wrap it up with you two for now because obviously you want to go and train out in the in the cool climates outside um, <laughs> so just last thing from us what can we expect from your respective teams so Nicola what what's the spirit going to bring why are they going to win? Oh, jeez, that's a hard question. Um, it's obviously the captaincy. Well, yeah. Um, <laughs> Orange shot, well, I mean, I haven't really had a look at our team yet. We've got training this afternoon, so, but, yeah, I think it's going to be a really exciting tournament. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of people get a lot of different opportunities, um, which is really exciting. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing, um, you know, what the girls bring, and, um, yeah, hopefully we give it a, a red-hot crack, so, yeah. Yeah, Heather, Barmy, are going to do it? Yeah, hopefully. I think the main goal is to try and enjoy ourselves. We're obviously here to win as well. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to working with Lydia um, as, as head coach, so quite an English feel to the team. And um, yeah, hopefully we can have some success and um, learn a few things along the way as well.